This new feature, Live Canvas on Leonardo AI, is pretty insane. It allows you to draw on one window and it will create AI art live on the other. And you don't need to use just your computer. There's also full iOS support. So that way you can use your iPad and Apple Pencil for this as well. So the way it works is you log in and head down to Live Canvas. And they get a blank canvas. If I've opened something and left it before, it'll probably leave it there for next time. But for now, I've just got this live canvas. I do want to take a moment to thank Leonardo AI for being the sponsor of this video. And if you want to check these tools out, there's a link in the description below. Now, in order to get started, all I need to do is pick a color. I click on this color here, choose say green. I make sure I have my brush selected. And if I want to, I can make my brush really small by bringing this up to the top, having a small brush and it's already starting. I can bring it right down to the bottom and have a really big brush. You can see we've got a circle there. So finding the right brush size is going to help. I'm just going to draw a green shape here. And it's already starting to create something. I haven't even given it a prompt. But what I really would like to do is create some kind of alien. I'm going to click on the green, go down to black, get my brush size up a bit, and I'm going to draw some buggy sort of eyes. And again, it still doesn't know it's an alien. It's trying to create something else. I'm going to come down to my prompt, type in green alien. And you can see it's already created something over here. One thing I want to touch on too is it's really dark, that background. I like a dark background, but not quite that dark. When I go to my color swatch here, you see I've got brush selected because I'm choosing a color for the brush tool. What I can do is go to background, click on purple or something like that and create a purple background. And now the background has lightened up a little bit. I'm going to bring it up and we've got something a little bit cooler from that. I go back to brush, back to my canvas. Keep in mind, anytime I want to start again, I click this bin icon and it will. I can wipe everything and start again. It'll still have the prompt, but I can just delete that by hand. I'm not going to do that, but that's how you can restart at any time. Also, this is not the final image. I'll show you what the, how to get the final image later. It actually is a little bit better than this. This is the live representation. Now, one thing to look at here is the shape. It's a very basic shape and it's a little too basic considering what we're getting because we have the creativity strength up high. Now, if we wanted it to be exactly like this, I could bring that all the way down to the bottom and it would be pretty much exact. But we're talking about AI here. We want it to have a bit of fun. If I crank it up to the top, it will go on its own tangent a little bit. It won't reference the image as much. So finding that balance of creativity strength will help you produce something closer to your drawing. Something like that is pretty cool. And we can work from about there and you can just sort of play around with that until you get something you like. The other thing too is we're using the cinematic filter down here. This is like an alchemy uh, model. I come up, I can change that to anything such as anime or dynamic or even environment and get some really cool results that way as well. Now, this is a very simple image. What we can do is even to go a little bit further, I can go in, maybe I wanna choose white to create some highlights. I can make it semi-transparent by bringing this slider across, bringing this down and maybe I draw some highlights onto my figure. If I decide that transparency is a little too transparent, knock it up a bit, bring that brush size down. And I've created some highlights. And again, I can do the same by choosing a darker green and creating some shadow. This is all very rough, but it's been given AI, the AI something to create something a little more 3D. I've gotten a little messy around the edges here, so I can grab this eraser tool and basically erase some of these extra bits and pieces and clean it up. So now we have this alien head that's looking pretty cool. If I want to, I can give it a red and I can actually give it a little bit of like say a red body down here. It's still made it green, but what I can do is say red jacket and it'll add a red jacket there. One thing I want to also note is over here we have real time. Real time is a premium feature and it updates at a higher frame rate than interactive mode, which updates after every brush stroke. So you can choose which speed suits you best here. But for the fun of it, we'll leave it on real time and continue to play from there. Now, at the moment, he has no mouth. So again, we can make any adjustments we want to see. I can draw in a mouth, even nose. And now he has a mouth. So. As you can see with this basic shape and drawing here, I've been able to create this using Leonardo AI. But also I can add in some images. If I click on add image here, I can add one of my uploads, one of my previous generations 
I can even go into the community feed or if I follow anyone, my follower feed to see, find something I want to use. But let's go back to my uploads. If I want to, I can upload an image, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to go to my generations and add this. And I'm just going to move this up into the corner or away. The one thing you'll notice is it's still got the square box around it. I'm going to grab my eraser again. I can erase from these images. Grab my selection tool at the top here, move it in. I actually added a second head up here, which I think is pretty nifty. But now we've essentially got an image. And if I want to upscale this image, I have normal refine or creative refine mode. I'm going to normal refine and then also go to creative refine mode. Now in the future, you'll be able to check out these upscales right within the live canvas. But for now, we actually just have to go to our personal feed until uh, the team at Leonardo AI get that sorted. So I'm gonna head back to my personal feed. This is our normal refine. As you can see, the texture, everything is really very impressive. The jacket, if I zoom in, the amount of detail on this is really incredible. And it was from a very, very basic drawing. The jacket looks like a real jacket. We've got some cool alien bits and pieces happening. Really awesome results. Now let's check out the Creative Refiner. Creative Refiner has given us this pretty cool result, almost like reflective eyes and bits of text sort of embedded in the head. If you zoom in, you've got some really nice detail. And I really love just everything looks like a really high level 3D render, which is pretty insane. Very awesome result. But heading back to the canvas, we can actually keep doing a few different things. I have this image here, but instead of actually going in here and importing it, I can just click output to input and it will actually pop that image into my input. I can even move it around if I want to, but I'll put it back. I'm going to bring the creative strength down so we can actually draw onto this. If I want to, I can grab my brush tool, even draw over this head. I'll make it 100% opacity. And I can actually just draw over this head if I want to and kind of create something a little bit different. Bring the creative strength up a little bit. I can grab, say, a bit of yellow or orange, draw some flames even, or even add a glow to the eyes. I'm going to bring that credit strength up. And now we have this image. And I'm going to stack another. And I can continue to hit this output to input and see how far Leonardo AI wants to take this image. And we've got something really cool over here. So let's upscale that with Creative Refine and Normal Refine. Head back to my personal feed and check out this image. Pretty crazy, pretty cool stuff, very high level art. Looks like a 3D render. Come across to the normal refiner, and we get something a little more grounded and realistic, but still, still pretty cool. And these are just a few of the features. There are a ton more coming in the next week or two, according to the Leonardo AI team. So really your imagination is what's gonna dictate what you can do with this tool. There's a lot of potential in this tool. There's a lot of things you can do with it. You can simply draw like I've done here, or you can even start combining elements and images to create sort of something a little bit more unique. And basically you can have fun with it. Try rolling and adding that output to input and seeing how far you can kind of reiterate these images. You can get some really awesome results by having a quick play, having a bit of fun, and uh, refining to get your upscale and your final result. So once again, I want to thank Leonardo AI for sponsoring this video. What an insane tool this is. I cannot wait to play with it further. Check out the link in the description to try it out. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, have a great day. I'll see you again next time.